Hi guys, today we are talking about how to keep your fridge organized. This is something we're pretty well known for in our families. We occasionally will organize and clean out our family members' fridges when we've got some extra time. So here's the tips and tricks that we use to keep our fridge organized and stocked. The first is check the date so that you can do first in, first out. So if you have two of something, check the expiration date, put the newer one on the bottom so you eat the older one first. Also, if you find a good deal on something that has a little bit longer of a shelf life, feel free to stock up on it, but do the same thing. Make sure the newer one is in the front. A really important thing when you're buying this much fresh produce is to make sure that you're buying with intention and that you're meal planning. So right now I've got green onions and mint in my fridge because we're making spring rolls. I need to come up with a couple more recipes within this week to use those same ingredients so that they don't go to waste. You wanna group things that have similar categories together. So you'll see I have my Asian sauces grouped together, my kind of burger and sandwich fixins, and then also our PB&J shelf. Something that's really helped us get through our leftovers is keeping them at eye level. So the first thing you see when you open your fridge is your leftovers that you should go for before they go bad. Similarly, I put our grab and go dips right next to them so that it's also eye level. And then I keep fresh cut vegetables so that when I open the fridge, the first thing that I wanna grab is something healthy and fresh and it's ready to go. A trick that's really helped me make our grocery list a lot easier is making sure that everything has a home. Now, of course, you also put fruits and vegetables in your drawers, or hopefully you do, but make sure that they truly are dedicated fruit drawer, vegetable drawer, that you've got a dedicated space for your milk, for your butter, because then you can eyeball your fridge and see what you're missing. Duplicates are one of the things that make your fridge cluttered. So if you can help it, only refrigerate one of something. So if you're a Costco buyer or you like to buy in bulk, if something can live in the cabinet, let it live there and keep just one of those things in the fridge. The same goes for duplicates on something like ketchup. There's so many households that we go to that have two open ketchups, three open ketchups, do your best to use one up before you start using the next one. It will really give you some more space in your fridge. Now this one might seem a little silly, but we have these single purpose plastic containers that we use for produce. So we've got a lemon, we've got an onion, and the one that we use the most is our avocado. The reason that these are great is because they give you a cue. Hey, you've got half a lemon in here. Use that before you open up a new one. Stadium seating is pretty genius when you go to the movies. It's the same for your refrigerator. If something is short, put it in the front. If something is tall, put it in the back. If you can see everything, you use everything. You've probably noticed that I face my labels out. This really helps me know what's in the fridge, but also if someone else is opening our refrigerator, they can find things quickly quickly and it just looks cleaner and more organized. I'm pretty notorious for saving things. So every six weeks or so, I like to do a full overhaul, open up all those jars and make sure that everything is still good. And the last thing that's probably one of the most important is to keep your refrigerator clean. The cleaner it is, the more you want to eat out of it and you're stocking it with healthy things. So if you open your fridge and it's kind of dingy and it's a little bit sticky, you're much more likely to order takeout that night. But if it's clean and fresh and bright in there, you're gonna go for the fresh produce and snacks that you've created for yourself. Same goes for the outside. If it looks good from the outside, you're more likely to give it an open and to eat something delicious that's stocked. Now, if you appreciate videos like this, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one.